time to edit some videos. First, uh, last night I finished this one. So regular version. I recorded this back in quite a while back, so you just need to really put some serious effort into getting through the queue of videos. I was also thinking of talking about I've got the Italian last bottle. I should probably buy some on Amazon. But uh, I still have two boxes of tea that I need to make videos on. So I've been avoiding doing that. Anyways, the goal here, I just made this one. Actually, let me check and see if I kind of doubt Amazon has approved it yet. I'm going to make a regular version. It says in review. And then I make a vertical version. Let me see if the regular one is doing well on YouTube. Unlikely. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. Switch this one out to see my face for a second. <laughs> hmm. I need to change my. Let's see. 53 views. I oh, know that was the short one. <laughs> one view. Nice. Yeah, I have not been doing well on various YouTube channels these days. Quite a few. <clears throat> Let's see. Switch it to a different one real quick. Take a look. Tech channel. Nope. Content. Seventy seven views. So maybe I'll record another one of these today. It took a decentish amount of time to edit because I recorded so long. But I mean three upvotes. That's fine. This one did not work. Oh. I should change the title of this. Suggested titles? can change itself. Uh, mm. Oh, is it transformable? Because you can change the components. Kind of. That's a new feature though. I've never seen this. Tech talk. Yeah, I could add a tag. I haven't been doing tags in a long time. see this did okay I mean for me <laughs> anyways and I spent time adding these which takes some time takes some effort especially when I go back to it uh well one week ago
All right. So with a video like this, I make a vertical version as well, and I need to trim it down first to under a minute. So I have to take around at least eight seconds out. Take a look at this Rockstar Recovery. It's kind of loud. Make sure this is even in here. A little less intense than standard energy drinks. Yeah. Take a look at this Rockstar Recovery. Lemonade flavor. It's a little less intense than standard energy drinks. Let me take that out. Intense than a little less. It's a so split. It's a little less intense than standard energy drinks. Nice large can. Calories 20. Take that out. I'm going to move it for the moment. Whoops. In this case, I'm going to get rid of the audio, but keep the video in case I'm going to use it. Oops. Zoom in here. And change the name of it. Mm. I do usually do that. Calories 25 per can, so definitely less than some energy drinks. And it has actual juice inside. 3%. Bunch of ingredients. Water, glucose, syrup, lemon, juice. Concentrate citric acid, taurine, which is the caffeine. Ginseng root extract. So you got potassium, 100 milligrams. Niacin, vitamin B6, B12, anthothenic acid, and magnesium. It has 160 milligrams per 16 fluid ounce caffeine. 2 grams of sugar. Okay, it has... I'm going to replace this. Uh, it has 160 fluid ounce caffeine. Two grams of sugar. Okay, it has aspartame, acetylcholine, potassium. Yeah, I don't know if Amazon's gonna approve it when I left this in here. Aspartame, acetylcholine, potassium. I'll repronounce it. Sorry. It's supposed to be a joke. There is caramel color, milk thistle. It is somewhat milky looking. Let's take this out. Tastes and feels like a thick lemonade. Oops, just uh, select. Turn that off for a second. I don't know if I need to be talking feels about like a what uh, keyboard commands I use, but I have gone over that in the past. Thick lemonade it does have a lemony smell but it reminds me of like lemon cleaners yeah that it that's one of the aspects of this drink i'm not super fond of and with the fake sugar added but i can take that out from this video it's down to 58 and feels like a thick lemonade. It does have a lemony smell, but it reminds me of like lemon cleaners again with the fake sugar added. So it's not, it doesn't have the. Let me take this out. I'm surprised I left that in. It doesn't have the fake sugar added. It doesn't have the tartness of an actual lemonade. Let's look at the Rockstar Recovery lemonade version. A little bit different than your standard energy drink. And then I can take my Scotty Joe food and take that out. So I'm just trying to make them quicker, vertical. I don't know if it matters if it has to be under a minute on Amazon, but for a YouTube short, it has to be under a minute. In this case, they don't have any. Hmm. It's probably a better clip I can use here. So I took a still frame and just like zoomed it in. But all this is 1080p from the stream. And it's just not a lot of resolution and stuff that I can use for situations like that. Flavor calories twenty. What is this? Oh. Hmm. Get rid of that. Put it over here for the moment. Uh, 
I don't know if that's going to work. Free lemonade flavor calories, 25 per can. So definitely less than some energy drinks. And it has actual juice inside. 3%. Bunch of ingredients. Water, glucose, syrup, lemon, juice. Concentrate citric acid, taurine, which is the caffeine. Ginseng root extract. So we got potassium, 100 milligrams. Niacin, vitamin B6, B12, anthothenic acid, and magnesium. It has 160 milligrams. I think there was a clip. Yeah, this one. So it's better better framing basically and in this case with vegas you can uh, save the snapshot to a file i'm just gonna cop that and it takes a little bit to render it out and i can just drag it in here Make sure my auto ripple is not on uh, whoops, that's not, <laughs> what am I doing? There, there it is. Let's get rid of that old one. This thing here. I'm not going to bother doing the animation because I'm going to switch this to vertical. In that case, actually delete these. So it's just one line. Make sure these uh, and my mouse is sounding a little bit creaky. Get rid of this stuff. Just trying to make sure I don't have like used any of it. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, in this case, save it. <laughs> and we are 54 seconds. So that's good. Now what I do here for the vertical video, in this case, I don't, I didn't record an additional, uh, in, in OBS, I mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. There is a vertical video plugin that you can use, and it's it's nice. It works. It's made by what's their name? A i t u m dot tv. This is free. They have paid services and stuff. I don't know exactly what it does, but that's the thing. I just didn't record it in this case. Sometimes I forget to record it, but it's nice. So in that case, when I only have the regular video. Get rid of that. Oh, actually, let me save those for the moment. I'm going to go into File Properties and switch these. So 1080, 1920, height. So basically, phone, you know, phone size. And you can see it's not, it's, it tries to apply that aspect ratio to the current footage. And it's like a little box. So you can do, in this case, go into, what is this called? Crop, I think. Event pan crop tool. I mean, it's a, on the footage. So I right click and match aspect ratio. So you can see how it changed and it fills the entire frame now. And then I just copy this, change my tool to the selection tool. When you press D on the keyboard, it cycles through these tools down here. And uh, I went from normal to selection edit tool and right click on these paste event attributes. So basically now I have the vertical crop of everything but you can see some of it's just not great so I'm going to go in here and adjust it so that one looks fine this one I could probably move it over so I would go back into that tool click on this 
dashed box and then use the keys on the keyboard to align it. We can see in the beginning of the footage, it's to one side and then the end of the footage to the other. So just try to find a balance. It's challenging to do both vertical and horizontal landscape video at the same time. Especially over a long clip like this. There's bound to be some movement and such, and vertical video is not great for that type of horizontal movement. Let's see. So I probably did a crop in over here. I'm going to move this over a bit, and then I can zoom in, basically. But in this case, it's basically uh, approximating the larger pixels because there's no more additional data in this video based on the resolution I have, have it set at. So not ideal, but it's good enough. Juice concentrate, citric acid, taurine, which is the caffeine. So maybe I'll move it over slightly. Save it. And ginseng root extract. So we've got potassium. This one also looks not great. Move that over. 100 milligrams, niacin, vitamin B6, B12. Yeah. It's challenging, especially when I'm filming it. I'm trying to take note of the vertical placement. Not the easiest thing ever. With videos like this, there isn't a ton of good footage I can use. Maybe that I can think about it, but there's a gap here. So in this case, I'm just going to center it and then in this event pan crop tool you can use this little marker to pick the end of the footage clip of this clip and add a keyframe you can just zoom in and it'll automatically add a key keyframe so just punch in a little bit at the end so it animates the movement has 160 milligrams per 16 fluid ounce caffeine. Yeah, so basically this little thing here is what I'm talking about. Ounce caffeine too. And I just threw some other footage on top of this area. Two grams of sugar. Okay, it has aspartame. Aspartame. However you pronounce it. Maybe I'll clip that out of the short. See, I I don't know at this point if Amazon's going to improve the video with that in here. Potassium. Potassium. I'll repronounce it. So if I don't clip it out, and then they don't approve the video, I have to redo both of them. Then that's just like wasted time. So I could potentially remove it here. Of sugar. Okay, it has aspartame. Uh, hmm. So I made a marker because I was thinking about removing it for the Amazon ones. Potassium. I'll repronounce it. Tastes and feels like a thick lemonade. It does. Aspartame. I'll take it out. So whoever watches the vertical. Video won't get that. Save. What is this? Okay. In this case, I have to fix this. So I'm going to do that uh, match out, uh, output aspect. So you can see the text grew in size here. And I did notice in the, while well, recording this, the sucralose is in there as well. 
So they have a double whammy of artificial sugar. Sugar. In this case, this is such a short clip now that I'm going to take this and expand it. Zero ounce caffeine, two grams. Uh, just like, I don't know. Tastes and feels like a thick. It's not a lot to work with. Two grams of sugar. Okay, it has aspartame. Tastes and How do, you, how do we even spell? I need to type that into Google and have it spell it for me. Oh, chat. So in this case, I'm going to add this additional text. Take that out. And I can center it, and you can see it's not placed properly now. But in this case, when I do my text, I don't use this positioning here because it doesn't work in vertical format that well. What I use is uh, FX, event FX, and then a picture in picture. So this is a lot nicer flexibility wise. Sucralose and blah, blah, blah as well. Okay, save it. As aspartame tastes and feels like a thick lemonade. It does have a lemony smell, but it. Yeah. So I'll wind that a little bit here. Got my five below ramen shirt on. Sure, it's pretty comfortable. Like a thick lemonade. It does have a lemony smell. Align this. Smell, but it reminds me of like lemon cleaner. Yeah, I can uh, copy this and paste. So both the uh, crop and my alignment adjustment are applied me of like lemon cleaners again with the lemon cleaners again with the fake sugar added it doesn't yeah. have so i might pull from my extra footage here just take one of these lemon cleaners again with the so that I just didn't have anything to put there in that uh, point in the video. So I can copy this, paste it, and just delete that. There's, again, with the fake sugar added, it doesn't have the tart. So I think that's just generally a better... So I got these. So I could... I did it. <laughs> this is funny early somewhat early on in my video stuff it might have been more of the norm but a lot of the time i was using this feature where you can see how they mix the two clips together if i drag them over each other and then there's a crossfade again with the, see how it again with it uh don't do that very much anymore but i was doing that way too much early on and I look back at the videos, some of my older YouTube like photography videos, and they look rough. Again, with the fake sugar added, it doesn't have the tartness of an actual lemonade. I was looking at the Rockstar Recovery Lemonade version. Lemonade version, a little bit different than your standard. Fix this. Match output aspect ratio. Lemonade version, a little bit different than your standard energy drink. So I'm actually going to extend this one here. The Rockstar Recovery Lemonade version, a little bit different than your standard energy drink. Good there. Delete this. 
And in this case, I would review it one more time, just make sure it looks good. Maybe render it out and then watch it, which I guess I could do. Render as. And then I have a vertical uh, profile for the render. Using InVenc encoder. Amazon does not take HiVec, so I just render it in the uh, H.264. So this looks good. I don't know how this will mess up my stream. We'll see. See if it actually works. Um, this old computer is surprisingly functional. It has a i7-6700. So quite a few generations back. It's a four core, eight logical thread CPU. And then I have a GTX 1060 six gigabyte from MSI, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 at uh, 2,100 megahertz. So it's it's getting up there. I also have a bunch of SSD drives and stuff. So my main editing drive is uh, four single ter Right, uh, M.2 drives in a card, and then I do RAID 10 on those. And I also have three, I have a OS drive, like a, and then two other spare drives that I put stuff on, and backups. Usually when I do the video stuff, I try to copy a project. Even though the main drive has some redundancy, I try to copy the project after I work on it onto one of the other drives. So it's just an additional backup. All right, so let's take a look at that real quick here. Oh, this this uh, thing, I don't have audio for this. Uh, what I could do is close this. And put this in here. Drag it in here. Yeah. All right. Take a look at this Rockstar Recovery Lemonade flavor. Calories 25 per can. So definitely less than some energy drinks. And it has actual juice inside. 3%. Bunch of ingredients. Water, glucose, syrup, lemon, juice concentrate, citric acid, taurine, which is the caffeine, ginseng root extract. So we've got potassium, 100 milligrams, niacin, vitamin B6, B12, anthothenic acid, and magnesium. It has 160 milligrams per 16 fluid ounce caffeine. 2 grams of sugar. Okay, it has aspartame. Tastes and feels like a thick lemonade. It does have a lemony smell, but it reminds me of like lemon cleaners. <laughs> Again, with the fake sugar added. It doesn't have the tartness of an actual lemonade. Let's look at the Rockstar Recovery lemonade version. A little bit different than your standard energy drink. Oh, that last bit. Drink. <laughs> okay, I'll clip that out. Uh, let me see. Nope. I have to reopen the project because I closed it. So, um, I have three things I can edit in this one stream video. Where is that? There we go. Actually, I have a, quite a few other drinks I can do reviews on, too. But then I have this large queue of edits. I feel like I need to just try to get through those as quickly as possible. Okay, it was in the back here. Yeah. Okay. Your standard energy drink. That's weird. It's not showing up here. 
Let me just take a bit more out of here. Here's your drink. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Let's see if taking that little piece off actually worked. Oh, man. Guessing current computers would be much faster here, but also running the stream and a few other things. All right. Take another look real quick. Guess I'll do the same thing. Close this. Here. Oh, I should have deleted the whatever. Brightness of an actual lemonade. I was looking at the Rockstar Recovery lemonade version. A little bit different than your standard energy drink. Still weird. What the heck? Drink. Yeah, because I have it cut over here. Hmm. That is weird. No, what's what's going on here? Need to go go through the process again. I guess I could also watch it in VLC, which I do have audio routed for. Yeah. So basically, I don't know. Let me check here. Uh. Whatever, but this, whatever this thing is, it's built into Windows. I don't know how to get it to route audio in OBS. Anyways, let's do that one more time. I think I'm going to include the other portion. And just, uh, I've never had that happen. That's really weird. I don't know why it's pulling that extra bit of footage or audio or something. It's clearly not in the edit. <laughs> Scroll through my huge list of pro video projects that I need to deal with. See where is it? Mango green tea. Oh man. Eat the one. What is this? Yeah, there's one of the vertical eyes. Oh, I haven't made a video on this drink yet. So I recorded a drink of, I mean, I recorded a video of doing an overview of that, but haven't edited, edited. Yeah, that's one, two, three, four, like four down from where I am currently. Let's try this one more time. So, Scotty Joe Food Reviews. Just get rid of this little pause here. Uh, mm, I can't actually. If I want to use this. Oh. I guess I can. Different than your standard energy drink. Scotty Joe Food Reviews. Ah, oh, man. Crap. 
Hmm. It doesn't happen. Whoops. All right, let's get delete this and then pull something to a different area. To just rehash this. Well, do I show my mouth here? Yeah, can't use that. Maybe I'll just do that, rehash this. I don't really care. It's All right. Version a little bit different than your standard energy drink. Scotty Joe food reviews. No. Uh, let's not use that one. Putting way too much time into this. Let's try this one. Scroll it. Just so it's different footage. No, that basically looks the same. There we go. Drink Scotty Joe food reviews. Oh, whatever. Render. Oh, I wonder if it relates to the OBS using the GPU at the same time. Maybe some weird things going on. Hmm. I've been have I had this uh, stream preview playing the entire time too. Whoops. All right. Hopefully this is the last attempt. Let's do the same thing. Close. Go back into here. Drop it in here and this, this pop-up says apply the aspect ratio and everything from this footage to the project. Let's go back. To here lemonade i was looking at the rockstar recovery lemonade version a little bit different than you're still doing you weird drink. stuff Daddy joe food reviews what the heck Boop. i don't get what's happening here Boop. all right i'll do that later close Hmm, that's strange. Get rid of this for a second. Maybe I should switch to news. So I have two more edits in that stream that I can do. I I reviewed a mallow cup thing and I also reviewed another drink. But I can do that later. nice thing about doing it while I'm streaming is that I can it focus more because I'm not doing other stuff at the same time. Let's see here. I don't have a ton of tech. Actually, I actually have quite a few things in the queue that I can put on here, but again, editing is the big bottleneck and I haven't I pre pretty much have to pour my entire effort into that to get through it but I would like to get more stuff on here it's not great <laughs> let's see 9,000 it's a jump let's do only 50,000. 
So it's about one fourth, a little under one fourth of the way to getting into YPP based on watch time and also the subscribers. So I'd need like 700 ish people to join in on this. And getting this one in YPP would be nice. It's very brain safe and it's very, you know. And look at that drop. So January, September, October, November. Usually tech and, and stuff, product things jump in December-ish. But this one goes back into January, February. And man, the drop off is real. <clears throat> Just check out one of the other channels. I haven't looked at them in a bit here. So I have this guy. Oh, that's quite the thumbnail. I can't change that either. Dismiss. What is this? No. No. Okay. That no. Yeah, you can't change the thumbnail on shorts, and it picked a really three views. Wow. So this one I put clothing stuff on this channel. This actual video down here has done well on Amazon. I've gotten quite a few sales of these little wristbands, which I have one of them that I modified, put on my headset because it's basically coming apart. I would like to extend that at some point, but it's always a time thing. So I'm trying to justify the time on stuff. So I do a regular version, do a vertical version. Sometimes I do remix, which is quicker, but it's not as good. It's, it, from a quality standpoint, making the vertical one specifically is, in my opinion, better. But the negative is that you can't, it doesn't, when you do a remix, it, it goes through the app. You can't do it on a piece, like on a regular computer. YouTube automatically links the original video and the remixed sh vertical short, which is nice. I wish they would allow people to link them by hand so I could link my good vertical videos to the original video. But that currently is not a thing. Let's take a look. So yeah, this one's... This one's rough. Actually, a few people are uh, hanging around. This one dropped too. Let's see what we've got here. Spike. This has got 5,000 for the year. <laughs> Other one had 50,000 for the year. 40 hours of watch time approximately. This is basically my whatever else I've got. Put it in here. The general. So I've got these uh, Gundam nippers or model kits. Got these pants for cosplay. This one is this one, this one. Those are cosplay ones. Or I basically, I'm not done, but I edited quite a few of those videos. So I'll switch to another. Man, that, that thumbnail is terrible. Jeez. Let's go into the cosplay bonsai. So this is another channel here. We've got more products stuff I've been putting on this one. Some are pe some people are not 
amused, I guess. Jeez. Babies. Down for babies. Is it that bad? Let's look. Fabric LA craft felt fabric by the yard. Take a look. This is the white version. 100% acrylic craft felt, 72 inches or approximately 183 centimeters close wide. The size here mentions 1.6. I do say it. Wait, do I have this browser in? I don't it's know if about I have this. two, so that might be correct. I'm going to have to somehow measure this. The okay. shipping creases appear to be visible on one side, not as much on the other, but it's still got a crease on 18 inches. So I was talking about, see how it links? The original video this must have been a a remix and width on one side other sides also 18 inches i tried to yeah. fold it four times lengthwise and it is doubled up thickness wise just so i could fit it in the frame here like how is this is it that bad whatever i don't understand people <laughs> um let's see So this one had 2.4K, 85 watch hours for the basically month, but it's 28 days for YouTube. They, For whatever reason, they do a 28-day span in this list. Let's see what the year is. So it was 35. The tech channel had 50. This one has 35. 1.1K. So slightly more watch time on this channel compared to the tech channel but the tech channel currently has shorter videos but if i do more tech news things that could help i do want subscribers this one has more than enough subscribers for youtube partner program but the watch time is again this one's a little bit over one fourth of the way there you need four thousand so it's at 1,100. And just generally, the videos on here are more consistent. I don't know what the spike was. Maybe that was a, a vertical video or something. Hmm. I do have a cosplay log eventually, again, editing for, for the MC Akio cosplay. I have a huge amount of footage so i have to somehow turn that into a video or two or three or whatever <laughs> maybe i'll make it into pieces for each like item It'd probably be easier make more sense so yeah this one's not it's closer than the tech channel to ybp but i have less stuff on here in general And this is kind of a mix. So the first video on this channel was a fleece dog coat. And they made this. I'm still mad this one didn't give viewership. Because it's it's like a significantly cooler project than this one, in my opinion. I did I modified the idea of this and I made a superhero dog coat thing. And it's got 2,000. I should do a remix. Maybe I did already. Let me see. I did a remix of this plushie. And I got 200 and one downvote. 200 views. Which is not good for shorts. But... I mean, every view is nice to have, but, uh, you know, realistically, these numbers are bad. So I should probably do try a... I think my issue here was that there just wasn't a good area of the video to clip.
Oh man, YouTube, come on. So I have this thing, whatever you want to call it. It's a quarter it's kind of. So what I could potentially I do is just take this these out. Another thing I could do is show how I do the remix on stream. Because I have a way of routing the video from the phone. All right. Anyways, do I have any other channels to show here? As the uh, old podcast, I kind of doubt anyone. So I did this with a friend for a while. One of my, this is one of my friends here. He subscribed to all my channels. I appreciate it, Charles. All right. Let's see. One view. <laughs> That's probably him. Tabletop gaming. Future technologies for 24 seconds. So this, this channel is basically DOA, you know, 15 views in a year. YouTube does not like promoting this channel. One subscriber, which is my friend. I had fixed up some of these thumbnails. I needed to finish that. But I mean, it's just, it, honestly, it's a waste of time. <laughs> oh, look at all these downvotes. There's some, someone that uh, is not a fan of this. Yeah, another one. I don't understand people and their preferences, which is probably why I'm not haven't been that successful at this stuff. Let's see if I have any other ones to show here. Looked at that one, the food one, oh, the programming one. Oh, he subscribed to this one too. That's funny. So I had one person leave at some point. I don't have a huge amount of stuff on here. So I have some phone app overviews that I made uh, projects for Google Play Store, which used to be called the Android Mar you know, market, which made more sense. But, uh, there was uh, quite a bit of programming stuff. This chat GPT video bombed 52 views. So basically, I use open a chat GPT to help me program. It worked relatively well, but clearly my branding and everything else just didn't work hit, you know, I used it to make a program to clean these SRT subtitle files. Let's look at the stats for this channel real quick. 87 views for the month. <laughs> 1.9K. 42. The hours are good for the amount of views. This one also has a drop. I'm wondering, maybe it's just me. It's always possible it's just me, but I'm seeing a pretty consistent 
drop over all of my channels.